Okay, everybody, welcome back to Mad Wife Rips. Back with our special guest again, the Baby Ripper. The Baby Ripper. Baby Ripper, say hi. Baby, hi. Say hi, everybody. So we're having a little bark fest downstairs today with the dogs. So we've had to redo this video a couple of times to get the dogs um, to be quiet. But me and my special guest, uh, four-year-old Baby Ripper, are here. We're going to be ripping into another new product. This time, 2023 Tops Pro Daddy, Debut. Daddy, yes, ma'am? Just get it down there. Okay. Okay. And we're going to be doing a hobby box of 2023 Tops Pro Debut. We're looking at minor leaguers, future stars of the league. I've seen enough of this open to know that there are current stars in this product. Matt McLean, uh, Ellie De La Cruz, um, Junior Caminero. Uh, who else? Uh, I want to say uh, Henry Davis uh, is in here. Uh, but a lot of good products, and the benefit to this is this is not a very expensive product. It's a product that I really like, uh, and it's very cheap. I think you can get a hobby box for about $70 still. Um, we we'll pre-ordered these through Top several months ago, and they just came in. So this is a hobby box. Uh, if you spend a little bit more money, you can get a jumbo box, about $25, $30 more. The jumbo box is going to come with three autos, but you're going to get several short print or numbered hobby. parallels um you're gonna get where you, you might get one or two out of a hobby box you're gonna get several so one less auto but a lot more yeah. um, color parallels Tracy, I'm the kid. no you're baby ripper okay uh with this you get four autos per box okay but you gotta shh all right, she's Baby Ripper Kitty, she says. So here we go. Um, we're waiting on um, 2023 Topps Finest uh, Flashbacks to come in through the Topps Montgomery Club. We did order it, but we did not pay the $40 to have it shipped overnight, like some people did, um, to get the first look at it. But the video openings I've seen... Uh, I was 15 years old in 1996 when the uh, 96 um, Tops Finest came out, and uh, this is the um, the there's Baby Ripper. Uh, the Finest Flashbacks for 2023 is based off of the theme from 1996. Uh, again, I was 15 at the time. I had gotten kind of out of collecting. At the time, um, be why? Because I don't know. I guess I wanted to be a teenager. But um, Daddy, put in that bag. No, I'm gonna save this for a minute. Um, so I, I wasn't as familiar with the '93 design as uh, some of the earlier years. Um, but here we go. Uh, we're looking at, I believe, 20 packs. One, two, three, Mommy, four, Daddy, five, six, seven, on eight. On this side, this is my class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can I count this one roll now? Let's count them. Ready? One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so 24 packs. So we're going to have to go pretty quickly on this. Uh, again, we're going to sleeve the autos. We're going to sleeve the uh, numbered parallels and any of the top rookies. No, don't, don't hit the camera. But other than that, we're going to move pretty fast through this product. Again, I would urge you to get it. Uh, Jackson Holiday is another one in here. I forgot all about him. Uh, who's the main reason I got this product? Uh, so uh, I'm not going to bother with who the pro teams are because as a Braves fan... Do you see my hand? I do. As a Braves fan, I know those guys, but I don't know all of them. So uh, I'm not even going to try to guess. So there we go. Uh, this is what the cards are going to look like. Uh, pretty standard for Topps Pro Debut. It's not necessarily going to look like the uh, Major League version of the same year, but it is made by Topps. It is considered a professional card. This is this map so you can remember this, these are baseball cards. Okay. All right. So here we go. Dalton Rushing. Uh, Carson Williams. Tyler Locklear, Pedro Leon, and here we go, our first autographed. Um, so they're, they're not turned around or anything. They just kind of jump out at you. And our first auto is Emmanuel Rodriguez. What? I take off my hand because I was itching. Oh, you, okay, you were itching.
you know you had Emmanuel Rodriguez of the Fort Myers Mighty Muscles. Uh, and not muscles as in strength muscles, muscles as in the seafood. Uh, let's see, Emmanuel, he is an outfielder. Um, Baseball America wrote about Emmanuel thanks to an excellent work ethic. He has turned into one of the best young hitters in the minor leagues. Few hitters at any level are as selective as Emmanuel. In his age 19 season, he drew a walk in an incredible 28.6% of his plate appearances. With a five foot ten frame, he belted a homer every fifteen Daddy, I'm so at bats. Excited. So, um, from the Dominican Republic, Daddy, Daddy. and um, not not as familiar with this kid, but I will get to know him. So he's going up there, baby Ripper. He's going up on the stage, and uh, we'll move on. Luis Matos. Did you say me, baby Ripper? I did. Daddy. Landon Sims and Matt McLean. There's our um, our first big name. Hey, gotta move that, okay? We can't see the cars. Matt McLean's gonna be our first big name of the prospects from the Cincinnati Reds. Um, he's our our first name that that uh, that jumps out at me. Um, Matos may have made the majors, or I may be thinking of another Luis Matos. So uh, here we go, pack number two. We got Armando Cruz, Kumar Rocker. That's a good one. Um, we got Dylan Beavers of the Orioles, Tyler Soderstrom of Oakland A's. He made it to the major leagues this year. Um, a throwback of Lefty Grove from the Orioles. So um, I, I don't believe that that is a rare insert. And then we got Emmanuel Rodriguez again, our, our, our auto. Um, Lisandro Rodriguez and Khalil Watson. Um, Khalil Watson of the Marlins franchise. And um, has has not really lived up to the potential of his draft stock, but he is still very young, and um, still has a chance to develop. Um, and how about what's going on with the Marlins? Uh, all the change over there for what I believe to be a good team. Um, so it looks like we do have a parallel and a chrome in this pack. That's another thing you are going to get a chrome card one every three three and a half packs, something like that. Uh, whereas you get a lot more in the Jumbo. So, Daniel Cueva, Marco Luciano, Abel Bastidas, and our red Yedi Copy, Yedi Copy red, of the Jupiter Hammerheads. What? No, it's not red. Why? What happened? Did you do something to it? No. Uh, and I that's... just hit my head on this corner. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit my ear on this corner. Corner shelf. I'm sorry. Bad shelf. That's going to be numbered out of 199. This is a bad shelf. It is a bad shelf. And uh, is ranked as the number five Miami prospect after the 2022 season. So I, he might be pretty good. I don't know a lot about him, but I do know a lot about this guy. And it's coming in as our first chrome. And that's Junior Caminero of the Tampa Bay Rays. So that is a good chrome card to get. Um, Cutter Coffee of the Red Sox, Austin Wells, and Juan Chacon. Daddy, is that fresh? What? We're say blow this thing on you. Is it fresh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fresh air? Is that what you mean? Did, uh, we're going to top did, load can our... Can I put one in the case? Um, yeah, in a minute I'll let you put one in the case. And then, since we did get a numbered parallel to 199 on this uh, Cappy, we are going to top load that one as well. And um, to where we're not making this a forever Can you video. Do the case one that um, I want me to on if, that next one on the end. Uh, yeah, on the next one I will, okay? I'll let you put it up there, okay? Uh huh. All right, so let's try to move to a little faster through this so uh, that we're not here. Hold on, I'll give it to you. Hold on, we got to look through them first. Uh, Zach Giloff, it looks like we got another insert coming up. Uh, Giloff made the uh, major leagues this year with Oakland, so that's a nice one. Uh, Spencer Daddy, Jones yeah, of the too. Yankees. Uh, Andrew Pintar of the Diamondbacks. Daddy, and a Jackson up. Holiday up, Farm Daddy. Fresh Futures. Thumbs, thumbs up. up. Daddy, thumbs up. up. Uh, Jackson Holiday is a um, certainly a big... Um, 
player in this set. Okay, thumbs down. Thumbs down. And uh, I'm a big Jackson Holiday fan. Again, who that watches baseball is not a Jackson Holiday fan. Uh, the kid just I mean, rakes at any oh, oh. level of, of baseball that Daddy, he has played at. You didn't let me oh, I did say I was going to let you do that, didn't I? Um, okay. So take that one off so I can do it. All right, here, put it up there. Can you reach it? There you go. Good job. All right, so we have a stage full. We've got a pink. We've got a Caminero Chrome. Our one auto, Matt McLean and Jackson Holiday. So if anybody else is going to make the stage, they're going to have to outdo one of them. Uh, I don't believe the Farm Fresh is a um, special insert, um, but I will check the box here. So we got another Chrome. Oh, you got to be quiet, okay? Oh, All right. My tummy hurts, so you, I got a grumble. Oh, you got a grumble. Okay, well you can grumble. Uh, Jace Jung, oh. that's a nice one. Um, brother is doing pretty big things right now for the oh. Texas Rangers. This is how grumble is. Juan Guerrero is our second okay, chrome. This is how grumble is. Look. It's oh. a grumble. And uh, did see a lot of big names there. <laughs> We did get our, uh, we did get another chrome. And again, not familiar. Honey, you gotta sit up, okay? I'm tired. Alright, we'll lay down in the chair. Alright, it does look like we have another parallel coming up. Looks like a, uh, a maybe, uh, that, is that a red to five? Uh, or is red to 25? Daddy, where's, um, where's Averson, Ortega Daddy, of the Giants. Right Gabe Hughes of the Rockies. Uh, Max Muncy, the other Max Muncy of the Oakland A's. Uh, Anthony Gutierrez on the uh, farm, uh, what, what do they call these? The the Farm Fresh Futures. So, yeah, I guess that Jackson Holiday is not very short print. And then Juan Ben Chu, uh, Juan Ben Cho of the Cardinals is going to be on the red. Uh, pretty sick color match there. Juan Ben Chu on the red. And it is number to five, four out of five for one Ben Shu. Uh, and I don't, again, I don't know a lot about him, uh, but Juan Ben punctuated his first pro homer in August with a bat flip that would have registered plus plus on the scouting scale. He walked 22% per, in his 100 at bats, resulting in an OBP of 189 points. He was set to be a star player in the KBO, but withdrew to sign with the Cardinals. So, uh, very nice hit there um, from South Korea and was born in 2003. So, uh, this is a youngster, and that is a sick color match for any Cardinal fans out there. does look like it has um, some pretty nasty uh, scratches on it. Maybe, maybe those can buff out. I don't know. They seem to be some scratches right across his head. Um, in face, but it could just be the light, but it is a sick card nonetheless. And uh, anything, you know, any, anything you get that's numbered to five is going to be good, but then when it's a color match and it's of a good player, I mean, guys, you're not guaranteed to get any um, short prints or, or anything uh, on, a, on a player in this set. I mean, a Caminero Tops Chrome is a big deal because you're not guaranteed... Uh, you, you could get the, the 500th ranked player in baseball if the ratings go that low. Um, and and to, so to get a guy that, that is seemed to be thought highly of, we'll take that. Let's come, Jacob Berry of the Marlins, Justin Boyd, uh, Moises Belesteros, the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. Oh, our second, our, our second auto is a good one. Uh, Tyler Soderstrom is going to be our second auto. Soderstrom is a first-round pick of the oh. Oakland A's and has already made the bigs. Um, he's currently blocked at catcher by former Braves top prospect Shea Langoliers. Uh, so he has moved over to first base, but he is um, definitely a good one. Uh, you want to go lay down in your room? Uh Tennessee Fireballer Ben oh, Joyce. No, lay down in your big bed okay, you can go do that. Uh, Justin Crawford and Drew Thorpe. Yeah, I'll hold that. You gotta hold that head there. 
Um, so we've got two autos. Um, both of them appear to be decent players. Tyler, um, a very good player for Oakland. So, um, so far it's been a very good box. Um, Chase Mer uh, Medrath, looks like we've got a, uh, another Chrome coming up, and I see what team he is. That is my hometown uh, Carolina Mudcats for the Brewers. Uh, there's that yeah, Kit Cappy. Ignacio Alvarez for the Braves, guys. Pay attention to this kid. Uh, Ignacio Alvarez, he's in single A for Atlanta right now. He's going to be special. Uh, Cam Collier of the Reds is another good one. And our uh, our next Chrome is Jacob, Jacob uh, Misorowski of the Mudcats. Um, again, it's Chrome. It's not numbered. He, uh, let's see, hits 100, hit 100 miles per hour, and he's six foot seven. Um, second round draft pick, but got first round money. So, all right, kudos there. We'll 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 take it. Um, it's a pitcher, but hey, we'll take it. And then Kevin Pereira of the Mets, Logan Tanner, and Drew Jones. I know I know everybody is down on Drew Jones right now uh, because he did not have a very good year. Um, but he is still uber talented. He's got a, a great work ethic, and you just can't compare him to Jackson Holliday. They're just different players right now in their career. He'll be fine. Uh, Nick Bittison, Jackson Chirio. There's another big timer from this set. I feel like we're going to see his major league debut this year coming up, or next year coming up. How about a back to back there? Jackson Chirio and Jason. Dominguez. Um, tough break for Dominguez on the injury this year. Uh, got a throwback to Prince Fielder with the Snappers. Uh, Prince Fielder finished with the exact same number. Was it uh, home runs as his dad or hits or something crazy like that? Uh, Tanner Schobel, Drew Baker, Colson Montgomery, another big name, and Matt Mervis, another guy who we have seen in the major leagues this year. So, uh, again, you do, you do get several people that have made the pros when these cards were made. None of them had. So, let's say we've got another Chrome coming. Sterling Thompson, Sal Freelich, another one that's made his debut. Daniel Vasquez, and Jose Ramos is going to be our next Chrome. Pete Crow Armstrong, he's made his debut. Um, Maycall Hernandez, Kyle Manzardo. And Manzardo, I don't believe, has made his debut for Tampa, but he's close. Uh, and Dayton De Los Santos. So let's bust a move. We're gonna uh, we're gonna try to get through it a little quicker now. We're we're getting behind, but I like I love baseball. I like to talk baseball. So um, here we go. Um, so Daniel, Nick Gonzalez of the Pirates, Caden Wallace, I think we've seen him once before already, um, Johansky, Noel, and a throwback of Sean Green um, for the Blue Jays. Again, I'm not sure what kind of card this is. doesn't appear to be numbered, but again, I think it's just a, a throwback. Here's our Win Bin Chu again, Win Bin Cho again for the Cardinals, as we saw in the color match to five earlier. Trace Gonzalez and Miguel Blyce. Baby Ripper has decided to go lay down, so we lost our associate. Um, Wilford Veris is our first one. Oh, we got a gold, so we, we do have another parallel coming. Henry Davis, former number one pick, made the major leagues this year. Uh, Carlos Jorge for the Reds, and our gold is going to be an auto gold of Hai Yu Lee. Uh, of the Jersey Shore Blue Claws. Now, I believe, and this is numbered to 50, uh, 26 out of 50, I believe um, this is the kid who got traded from Philadelphia to uh, Detroit, I believe, in the Michael Lorenzen trade. Um, this past year, because I'm pretty sure that I uh, got his autograph out of the Bowman uh, that came out. Pretty sure I got his autograph out of Bowman that came out and had to look him up and couldn't find him anywhere on the Phillies list. 
and saw that he was now with the Detroit Tigers. So, uh, again, it's a goal, so take it. Um, former Auburn closer Blake Burkhalter, now with the Braves. Yarlene Susana, Anthony Hall, Gabe Gonzalez wraps it up. So, we're at three autos now. Um, two of those autos have been parallels. Or no, I'm sorry. Um, two par three parallels, if you count one of the autos. So, we should have one more auto. Uh, Marcel Mayer of the Red Sox, Danielle Montestino, Montes, Montesino, Troy Melton, Dalton Rushing um, is our next Chrome card, Brenner Cox, uh, Diego Pataya, Tucker Toman, and Xavier Isaac of the Tampa organization. Again, a lot more players in this set that have already made the major leagues that I was uh, even previously aware of. Um, McCabe. There we go. There's the guy we're looking for. There's the Jackson Holiday. Wish that was the autograph um, or, or the numbered to five card, but um, it's still it's still our guy. It's still Jackson Holiday. Um, uh, Dad's out there if you're looking to get your kids collecting into cards and you're wondering, hey, who should we be investing in? Well, that's him. Judd Fabian, former Florida Gator. Another throwback, Tory Hunter of the Rock Cats. Uh, Jordan Sprinkle, best name in baseball. Mason Auer and Harry Ford of Seattle. Uh, another rising star in baseball. So, I haven't been sleeving all these, but um, I know Ford is a guy that I'm following pretty closely and we saw a little bit of him in the world baseball classic and uh, he's gonna be a good one but you know seattle has about 40 of those guys how about zach nito already in this set uh, there's another one that you want to sleeve sean mclean you got um yankee fernandez bryce herbert and we got another chrome of rain duncan um not sure who he is uh frias george valero he, he's making his way up in cleveland and jordan beck uh who's beck with i know he's from tennessee angels maybe no that doesn't sound right can't remember um cole young looks like we're gonna have another one of those farm fresh edgar caro he's a good one drew gilbert man the mets had to go and get him Justin Crawford, Fresh Farm, Blaze Jordan, Anthony Gutierrez, Jack Brinkman, and a very dinged up Carlos G Gomero. I'm sure who he is, but he had a corner dinged all to heck. All right, Curtis Mead, he, he saw his debut. Juan Guerrero, Jose Ramos. We got another chrome of Carson Williams. I think I've seen his name a couple of times. Ritter, Eric Brown Jr., Drew Romo, and Burgos. All right, last stack. Let's get it. So what do you guys think? You guys looking at this product? Is this something you're going to spend on? Could be a good product for the kids to open. Could be a good product to stash away. We're going to have another parallel and a chrome in this pack. This is going to be blue out of 150, I believe. Victor Acosta, Ricky Tiedman of the Blue Jays. Samuel Zavala and our blue. Let's see. This could be our last parallel. So let's uh, let's not rush it. And uh, looks like a pitcher. Oh, Ben Joyce. Okay, it is a pitcher, but it's one that that we have heard of, and um, a good one at that. Ben Joyce, um, one of the first, if not the first, to make the major leagues out of his draft class for the Los Angeles Angels. And that's going to be numbered, yep, to 150. 25 out of 150 for Ben Joyce. And then right after that, a fan favorite of mine on the Topps Chrome, Cole Phillips. He's a high school kid, I believe out of Texas, who was throwing nasty gas. Yep, he's from uh, Bjorn, Born, Texas. Uh, I believe that's right. Yeah, Born, Texas throwing 100 miles per hour, and then he had surgery that caused him to drop in the draft. The Braves were able to get him in the second round and pay him a buku amount of money and hoping to see him uh, up the chain soon in Atlanta. 
Alright, Warming Bernadal and Verdugo. Alright, so should have another auto and um, hoping it's a big one. Nathan Mostarella. There's Lee again. Jimmy Crooks. Okay, maybe he has the best name. Jimmy Rollins. Tamar Johnson. He's the cover boy for the Pittsburgh Pirates organization. And also not didn't have a great year, but he'll be fine. Marte, he made it to the bigs. And Andy Pagas, another highly rated uh, prospect from the Dodgers organization. All right, we're almost home. We're almost at the home stretch. Manuel Beltre. Uh, let's get through these. If I see any big names, I'll stop. Tyler Locklear. Ellie. There's our Ellie. There's the other one we were looking for. Would have been okay with that being an autograph, too. So it doesn't look like we're going to get an Ellie or a Jackson Holiday autograph, but it's all right. We're not, uh, we're not complaining um, about it. If I could get this in the case. Um, Ellie. I know that the Ellie train stopped um, choo-chooing along after a pretty rough last couple of months of the season, but people forget how young he is, and he, he's just incredible. Uh, Brooks Lee from the Twins and Kay Doty of the Blue Jays. Got an auto of Kay Doty out of, um, I think it was Panini Draft Pick Prisms or something like that. So I'm pulling for that kid. All right, three packs left, and we should have another auto coming. Um, Alex Freeland. Uh, there's the base of Tamar Johnson, cover boy. Chandler Simpson. Guerrero. Jacob Berry. Mickey Romero. Lu Luis Angel Acuna, who is now a Met, boo. And Reggie Crawford. Um, hated to see the Mets getting an Acuna. Actually, we got three packs left. I thought we only had two left, but we got three. Hated to see the Mets get Acuna. They also got Drew Gilbert, who we saw earlier in this set. Jordan Lawler, another big one out of this set. Uh, forgot about him. Uh, Gabe Martinez. Andrew Painter is in this series. Uh, Yiner Fernandez. And our Chrome is going to be Brady House of the Washington Nationals. Uh, Colton Kowser of the Orioles is in here. Kyle Harrison of the Giants and Jackson Merrill. A um, couple of big names right there in that in that pack. All right, two packs left. Should have an auto in here. Um, Joshua Baez. Don't think he's made it up yet, but he's a he's a he breaks for the Cardinals. Uh, Vera Kelvin Alcantara for the Cubs. He'll be up soon. And Juan Chacon of the Red Sox is our final autograph. Juan Chacon of the Red Sox. Um, heard of him. Don't know how good he is. But he is an outfielder. So he, he's not a pitcher. Again, I typically don't like pitcher autos unless they're for the, for the Braves or guys that are typically, um, you know, guys that you can typically sell. So... One ranked top 10 among Red Sox minor leaguers in steals. In the one game winner take all FCL final against the Yankees, the rookie he batted cleanup, then he was promoted to single A. He's one of the many players who lost development time due to the pandemic, canceling the 2020 season. He projects as a five tool player. Well, alrighty then. Five tool me up then, Mr. Chacon. Um, who else came out of that pack? Ramos. Oh, Owen Murphy. There's my other guy for the Braves that I like a lot. And Trey Sweeney of the Yankees. You're not sleeping? Okay. I'm not sleeping anymore. Oh, you're not sleeping anymore. All right, last pack. So we've gotten our four autos. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go through this pack and then we're gonna do a review. What is a review? A review is where we talk about what we got. Our last chrome is gonna be Pedro Leon, uh, Aponte, Benny Montgomery. Yvonne Melendez and Justin Foscu. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna stop the video for a second. We're gonna uh, load up what we got. We're gonna come back and finish it out and show you about this product. Let you make your informed decision on it. All right, guys. We're back. Doing a little recap here. Uh, went through them. Kind of looked at who was who. Looked at some of the top prospect list. And here's about what you can expect in a. Tops debut 
um, 2023 hobby box. So kind of got them in order. So first of all, I'm just going to show you some of the, the Chrome cards. You'll see some of the better ones, but one, two, three, four, five Chrome cards. And then the better of the Chrome cards, um, it would, would we say there was one, two, three, four, yeah. five? Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten chrome. Um, yeah, Caminero, um, Carson Williams, Jacob Mizorowski, uh, Brady House, and Dalton Rushing. Some of the better higher end prospects that we got in chrome. So ten chrome. Um, as far as inserts go, we didn't get any numbered inserts. Um, but we did get some of the higher end prospects. We got these, um, what are they called? The Farm Fresh Futures. Farm Fresh Futures. Jacob Berry, yeah. Tamar Johnson, Justin Crawford, and Anthony Gutierrez. So um, I would say between these four, you got, you know, Crawford and Tamar, very highly rated. Um, Jacob Berry, not sure what to make of him in the Marlin system. And then Anthony Gutierrez, uh, a little bit young to know. So I got four of those. Instead and then we Jeffrey's got they should, they put Lefty's Lefty Grove. Grove. Yeah. Instead of Jeffrey's uh, And then we got five of these like old mm -hmm. school cards of um, former players mm -hmm. and throwbacks to famous um, major leaguers and their minor league teams. So here's Jimmy Rollins from the Phillies. Tori Hunter from the Rock Cats. Sean Blue Green, Jays. the Blue Jays. Nappers. Prince Filter. And Orioles. way back when, Lefty Grove, back when the Orioles were a minor league team. So, I don't know, those are cool Orioles cards. Were a minor league? At one point, they were. These are cool cards. You got the little comics on the back, like you did in the old school. Um, so, you know, I'll fun. one of those cards. One day. Um, and then. Obviously, this is a big stack of the what I call the everybody else. Um, with these being prospects and, and young guys and their first cards, we will save these. We will put these away in a box um, so that they can't be dinged up or messed up. Now, are they going to be PSA 10 material? No, but you can't go through and penny sleeve every card. So, showed you the chrome, showed you the inserts. Went through two different top 100 lists. Um, MLB and Fangraphs, and look at how many top 100 players we got in one box. Go all of them? No, we're not going to go through all of them. We'll just go through some of the higher end guys, and these are these are the ones that we didn't top load. Uh, these are just penny sleeve guys, guys like Kyle Harrison, like um, what, like Mar Marco uh, Luciano, like Andrew Painter, the Phillies. Ricky Tiedman of the Blue Jays, um, Curtis Mead, who we saw this year in Tampa, um, Cole Young for the Mariners, like, and these are guys that Dalton Rushing of the Dodgers, we got his top scrum card too, and then just so on and so forth, all these good, uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez, you're going to see him in a little bit, um, just all these guys that are on the top 100 list, either through MLB or through fan graphs. So you just get a look at all the different top prospects that you get in their first tops card. Um, now, they, they may have had Bowman cards, but this would be their tops pro debut. So um, cool, you know, not a high end product, but a cool card to, to get and to own. So. Um, Blaze Jordan, former top prospect, Ben Joyce, Matt Mervis, who we saw at the Cubs last year, Kumar Rocker, uh, Mickey Romero, uh, Tyler Soderstrom, George uh, Valiga, no, I did, and Khalil Watson. So, uh, and then our top loaders got these into two sets right here. We've got guys that have already made the big leagues um, Ellie De La Cruz. Um, Jason Dominguez of the Yankees, Zach Nito of the Angels, Matt McLean of the Reds, Sal Freelich of the Brewers, Henry Davis of the Pirates, 
All right, we'll start with Jackson Holiday in a minute. So these are the top loaders that have currently played in MLB, and we had some in that that other stack too. But these are kind of the higher end top prospects, and then our top twenty prospects um, by either MLB or Fangraphs. We got two Jackson Holidays. We got the Farm Future Fresh, Farm Fresh Futures, and the base of the number one prospect in all of baseball. Followed by a Jackson Chirio, Jackson Harrell, or Merrill, sorry, um, Jordan Lawler, Marcella Mayer, Pete Crow Armstrong, Colson Colton, Colton Kowser, Colson Montgomery, Brooks Lee, um, Adele Amador, who I'm very high on, Tamar Johnson, uh, Noel Van Marte, um, Luis Angel Acuna. Drew Jones and Harry Ford. So those are our top loader future prospects. And then our big hits of the box, and this is why you buy the box. We got a um, a Giddy Cappy, um, who is a top 100 player according to Fangraphs, uh, and that's going to be 93 out of 199. We got a Ben Joyce on a pretty sick color match here. I know he's an angel, but his minor league team was blue. That's a pretty sick color match, and that is going to be 25 out of 150 on the blue for Mr. 105, Ben Joyce. Our best non-auto parallel, also a color match, is the Juan Ben Cho of the Cardinals, a red to five, uh, numbered four out of five for the Cardinals prospect. And then our four autos, uh, our best one probably being Emmanuel Rodriguez. Again, I told you we'd see him again later uh, here on the auto. Tyler Soderstrom, who's already made the major leagues. Um, Juan Chacon for the Red Sox, who you know, always take a Red Sox auto. And um, our our best, but this kid is a good prospect, Hey Yu Lee of the now of the Tigers organization. Uh, looks like it says my, um, but that's how he signs his name. And this was actually a gold parallel numbered to 50 on the auto. So very cool product. I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, again, it's not high end, but for that price, it, it's hard to beat it. And it's a fun, pro it's a fun product to, to open. Uh, for my Braves fans out there, I did put aside a few Braves. Cole Phillips uh, on the Chrome. Owen Murphy, they, they were first and second round picks last year for the Braves. And Ignacio Alvarez, a uh, third round pick maybe from the 2022 draft. So those go into my PC. But uh, appreciate you joining us. Hope you like the product. And thanks Goodbye. for following our channel. Say bye, Young Ripper. Bye. Later. Mad Wife Rips.